So, you know, you're sitting with Tracy from World War Games, and you'll notice that the scenery is different. Um, so this is my new office, and um, it's it's a little like so you see the bags in the background. They're not the same bags. Some of them are, but most of them aren't. Um, <clears throat> so uh, most of the videos will be here, not all of them. Um, and then at some point I'll kind of show you around the room because behind you um, are my pinballs. And so there's the Fun House, the Cactus Canyon, the Adams Family, and Theater of Magic. Uh, so at some point I will turn the camera around um, and show you because they're really cool. And then of course right here is my Pac-Man. So um, it's been kind of crazy. So there haven't been any videos. Um, I've been kind of bummed because my second son, he went away to college, um, and so we had to get them all packed out and out the door, and <clears throat> so it's a lot of stuff that had to be moved around, and, um, the kids went back to school, um, so that was hard, you know, my youngest Ronan, um, you know, I told you guys he was my history buff, uh, he is a freshman, and it's crazy, he went like a a personality change and so that's weird you know uh, as a mom uh, he kind of I mean, he still needs me but he's like um, he changed his tastes and things like uh, he showed me like how big of a man he was because he could wear pink and I was like you go um, and he's like into the Shibu Inu uh, puppies or whatever so like I had to get a whole bunch of that stuff for his room and um and he got his own room like for real uh um, upstairs and everything because his brother moved and uh, he's very confident uh, in himself um there was like a bully in middle school uh who was like i mean ronan's really big okay let me just say that he's really big so if i say that this kid is big and i do mean like big like because ronan is almost like he's like five nine and he's big um so this kid is like six one six two uh he's huge and ronan was like mom i called him and i was like you did you did what and he's like yeah and i was like okay and i know that i shouldn't encourage my child to say bad words but he stood up for himself and i totally said you know you're at school you can't be doing that but good on you for standing up for yourself. Um, and of course he walked away. There was like no physical altercation. So, I mean, that was good that he had like all that self-confidence and, um, he's dressing himself. Like he didn't need me to pick his clothes out or anything. Uh, so it was really good. Um, I'm really proud of him, you know, and Colin, I'm so proud of him. He made friends. So, you know, cause they, everybody's been out of school for like a year and a half and you know, kids with autism, it's so much harder. Um, cause you know, they were withdrawn for a really long time. So it was hard for us to, to pull them out of that and to get them to be social. And then for them to be home for a whole year and a half, it like pulled them back again and I was terrified. So, uh, Colin made friends. And so like yesterday, um, I went to pick him up and I was like, Hey, I need you to come out. I'm here. And he was like, oh, I'm at lunch with my friends. And so he came because I was like, well, I'm going to take you to Charlie's, which is like his favorite place. And he's like, oh, I'm coming. But when he got to the truck, he was like, mom, just so you know, um, I'm going to need you to come like later because um, I'm going to eat lunch with my friends. And I was like, um, okay, okay. Because uh, I got cool. You know, I, I mean, I'm a mom, so I do like to be needed, but I... I don't need to be needed. So I'm happy that Colin has made friends and that he doesn't want me to come so early because, you know, I can find lots of things in the day with my bags and stuff. Um, so, you know, I was just really happy, really proud of him that he, he made friends and he has something to do. Um, so that was nice. I mean, because he does, he gets out really early. He's like 12, 25 because he's a senior. So excited. Colin's a senior. Next year he'll be working with dad, um, more, you know, so, cause he does work at the store, but he'll be on the route, um, with the, uh, you know, the arcade machines and stuff. 
So, like I said, it's been really chaotic, so that's why, like, no videos. So, I'm sorry. But don't worry, there's, like, all kinds of bags for us to talk about. So, um, like, yesterday, um, a store I'd never heard of, it's called Comic Spot. They had a an exclusive that was launched, and you pre-order, which I did. Um, it's a Jack and Sally that's, uh, I think it was a Sugar Skull. So, I guess it got a lot of flack. Everybody was like... It looks like he's eating her or like he's sniffing her butt or I'm just like all, all kinds of silly, silly comments. And I'm just like, it's unnecessary hate. If you don't like it, don't buy it. You know, um, I bought it because I, I, I like NBC. I mean, as you can see, I do. Um, <clears throat> in another video, you're going to see the new NBC from the parks. You glow in the dark, boogie boogie. Um, so, I mean, there's lots of NBC to come. It's, you know, fall is on its way. You know, we're about to be doing all the pumpkin spice lattes and the Starbucks cups. I can't wait. Um, my husband probably can wait for the Starbucks cups. He kind of thinks it's a little bit on the crazy side of that. Um, but we have some cool bags today because, of course, um, I hope I don't get this wrong. So, I got the... Chibi Villains. I want to say it was Modern Pinup. I want to say, in fact, let me double check here before I show you the bag. Um, so let me just check their site. So I don't look like a dummy. Modern Pin Up. Poly Doll. So I don't see it on their site, so maybe it wasn't theirs. See, like I said, um, one can never be like 100% sure. You have to like double check to where you get the bags from because God knows they're like always coming and coming and coming. See, it has to be modern print. See, now I'm not even sure. Now I'm going to have to like go to, so if you guys don't follow people on Instagram, I recommend it because like seriously, when I'm having brain farts, like right now, I find that it's very useful to go to see like Jay loves Disney and I check out her Instagram page because she always has all the pictures to remind me who I bought a bag from because God knows I'm buying so many that I tend to forget who I bought it from. So I will search through her little, um, she has like links in her bio so that I will know where, where the bags came from. So now I'm searching through her pictures for the chibi villain. Uh, it's the one where it says no place for fairy tales. And I don't normally do like the chibi bags just because it's not like an art style that I am like terribly fond of um but I bought it because uh it's not an ugly bag by any means um I am a villain person I kind of identify as a villain it's not because I'm necessarily a mean person but um because I I feel like most of the villains not all of them not all of them but like Maleficent in particular she was misunderstood I feel like she, uh, she got stiffed and, um, she was, you know, not born bad. She was made bad. So, dude, how long ago did I buy this bag? You know, when you are still looking and it's been a minute. But, uh, you can't find it. See, I knew I should have kept the box. I still feel like this is modern pinup. I can't find it, but I'm guessing it's modern pinup. So let's show you the bag. So I'm pretty sure this is modern pinup. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's modern pinup because I got my Grotto Treasures um, Tigger bag the other day. Uh, and I got a modern pinup box at the same time. And I'm, I'm almost 100% sure that this is modern pinup. So here it is. 
So this is uh, the Chibi Villains. And if you look really close, you can see that it says no place for fairy tales. And it has, um, so this charm up here, and it's a heart with a sword through it. So this is all print, um, but it does have some debossing. So I think that that's a nice texture element, the debossing. I would have liked to have seen, um, you know, some embroidery, uh, just because I feel that um, too much print uh, just leaves something lacking. Our plaque is on the side. And so it's a uh, purple bag with um, like a darker purple in the stitching and where the zipper is. And then we have dark purple straps. There is nothing on the back. Uh, and then let's see the inside. Um, it does have a very pretty lining and of course it does have a zipper pocket. So um, the other reason I do think it is a modern pinup bag is just because um, it is a more simple bag and they that is kind of like their thing. Um, and the side pocket does have side pockets, so that's good. <clears throat> and so the hardware, um, let's see. Whew. So it's a gun metal, um, black is the hardware. Um, so modern pinup does tend to um, have more simple bags. And I wanna say the price point on this was either 75 or 79. Um, it has the newer pocket where that zipper is on the top. Um, I don't care for that just because if you look, it also has like these little holes where stuff can fall out. Um, and also, um, I am a little concerned that, that that pocket's not going to hold up the stitching up here. But, other, but it's a very pretty bag. Um, it's, very, it's also a very simple bag because like I said, it just has a little debossing um, but it is mostly print. Um, but it is pretty. Uh, their faces are, they're not too, like, chibi. It's more anime than chibi, I guess. Just the, the way the eyes are and the nose. Um, so, yeah, I would definitely say it's a more anime print than chibi. Um, if it was more chibi, I think their faces would be a little more compact. They're a little round, more round. So, um but uh, I will say that the print is a little more um, pale. I think it would have uh, been better if the, the color had popped a bit. But it is pretty. Uh, a little on the simple side. Um, but, but it is nice. Um, I think that it's not bad for an everyday bag. So, I mean, it'll, it'll definitely get used. It'll definitely get worn. So, not bad. Not bad. Well, he's a little nervous about the pocket. Just teensy bit. Um, okay, and so next we have the, um, this is from Funcon. Uh, this is the Fi bag, Hello Kitty. So um, right off the bat, it has that um, soft faux vegan leather. Uh, so it's, it is very soft on the sides. It does not have side pockets. So that is something we are not happy about. Um, on the back, it has uh, Hello Kitty herself, and she is embroidered, so that we do like. So that's nice texture element. Um, and then we have this really cute charm on the zipper pull. Um, it has silver hardware. Uh, and then, of course, we have the applique on the front here with her friends. They're doing their city walk. City walk. Um, I, I'm, not I'm not crazy. If you look at the, the pocket, let me scoot up a little. Um, this is that new pocket style they're trying out where you can see the zipper. I don't like that at all. Um, I wish they would like push it up more so that it hides this zipper right here. I don't like that. Um, I don't see, uh, it's just, it's just not, it's a fashion thing. Um, so, but I do like the print in the background. It's cool. Um, I like that pastel look. Uh, so it's a, a very unusual color of purple. It's bubblegum purple is what it is. But it does match the colors, so it's nice. Um, we have our plaque here with a pink background. We have silver hardware. We have to have a look on the inside. Um, this uh, bag actually goes with all the other bags that they put out this year for the Sanrio. Uh, like you remember the bubblegum uh, machine bag they put out and the the Kawaii collection. So this very much follows that. So that's nice. I mean, you're sticking to a theme and that's good. Okay, 
see, that's the um, inner lining. And it's very cute. It's printed. Uh, and there is a zipper pocket on the inside. Also nice. And action and function. So I, I really only think that the, um, the fact that there is no side pockets and that they use a new pocket is the only thing I don't care for. Um, if you look on the tag, of course, it has the um, Funcon sticker so you know that it's a limited edition item. So we will be leaving this on with no snippy snippy. Um, we have our pink straps. Uh, this is a nice color contrast. We do like that. Um, the only thing I want to comment, if you remember what I said when I started with the bag, is this is that soft faux vegan leather. So um, the thing about the soft faux vegan leather for my collectors out there, one problem we have with that is, you remember I just opened the bag so we could see the, the lining, right? So the problem with that, with the softer leather, you'll notice it's already getting creases, okay? See the creases right here? So when you bend this bag or you squish the softer leathers, faux vegan leathers, you get creases. So um, collectors, we don't like that um, because, you know, we, we collect it, that um, means we show it. Um, so we don't like the creases because they're really hard to get out. We have to heat the bag, you know, out in the sun, in our cars, or in a safe place. And when I say a safe place, I mean that we don't leave it in direct sunlight. We literally put it, you know, I put a towel down in the floorboard and we leave it in the floorboard covered again with something soft so that it's not in direct sunlight because direct sunlight will fade the paint. It will fade the coloring. But we still need the heat. And please don't be that person who takes a hair dryer directly to the bag because that will burn it. That will damage the bag. I have had people do that. Or a heat gun. No, oh my goodness. I watched a video of a girl who used a heat gun. Oh no, 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 no. That's no. That's a definite no, 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 no. So just, you know, put a, a soft towel down in the, you know, the floorboard of your car, leave it in there on a hot day and put like, a, um, you know, the uh, microfiber towel on top of it, let it get good and hot, you know, and then um, take another microfiber towel and it's mildly damp and then just try to rub that out uh, and then make sure it's nice and super full on the inside with stuffing. Mm, but no heat guns. Okay, guys, no heat guns. So um, I will be overfilling the bag and um, and letting this get warm because I have now creased the bag and I don't like that and I don't want it to stay like that. So uh, overall, this is a very cute bag. Um, again, we like the dark bottoms because we sit it down because something icky gets on it and mm, no, we don't want the print to get icky. So that is Hello Kitty. And then, now we have our park bag. So this is the Haunted Mansion park bag. Um, a lot of people got it at the parks. Some people got it off Mercari and paid a crazy price. Don't do it, don't do it. So I don't know how many times that I have mentioned in the videos how uh, people have no patience um, and they think it's not gonna come to shop Disney and so they they pay the reseller prices or they pay a personal shopper. And it's okay if you pay a personal shopper as long as you pay a reasonable personal shopper. Do not pay someone who charges a huge percentage or they pay what's called a top-up fee. A top-up fee means that they pay an extra fee on top of like, say you have five items. So you pay a percentage for your first one and an additional price for each additional item. No. No, because you were gonna, you're gonna be price gouged. It's ridiculous. Um, you know these people they're they're buying for a lot of people, so they're getting their money back after the second person. Okay, so for them to price gouge so many people is absolutely ridiculous. Um, when I go to Disney, because I do live like three and a half hours away. Um, I do pickups and I don't, I don't charge people a ridiculous amount of money. It's just, it's not nice. It's not cool. Uh, I wouldn't want it done to me, so I won't do it to someone else. Um, yeah, you know, uh, I use post office boxes because they're free. 
Uh, if someone wants UPS, then yeah, I'm like, well, if I don't have any leftover boxes from like one of my shipments from like Funko or whatever, and you want a special box, then I'm, yeah, I'm going to charge you for the box. Uh, and please don't think that boxes are cheap because they're not. Um, and shipping, you know, pirate ship is probably the cheapest, but if you want UPS again, that stuff's not cheap. So, so P, please be realistic with people, but also resellers can be nuts. So just be patient because it will come to Shop Disney. It did, okay? This was on Shop Disney Pay Retail. Um, so if someone told you that um, a bag costed $100 at the park, no, it doesn't. It costs exactly what it costs on Shop Disney. So just be patient and you will get it because that's what I did. So um, here it is. It is very cute. Um, I didn't get any flaws because I know some people are like, oh, there's flaws. You know, the pocket's janky. The tag is upside down. I didn't get any of that. Um, I really like it. It's super, super cute. See the print? This one, um, I don't really see that the placement is an issue with this just because there's no, like, people on it. Um, I love that it's got the silver hardware. And we have all this purple. I love purple. I'm a purple freak. It's, it's adorable. So we have our... Um, our purple trim, silver hardware, um, and then if we look on the inside, let's see what our, uh, our liner is. And, and so this is that hard vegan leather, so we don't have to really worry about um, a lot of, you know, creases or anything. Not that you don't get creases, but it's not as easy, and they, you know, they come out a lot easier. Oh, I love that. Look at that. That is so cute. Oh, can you see it? Like the cats and the cauldrons. Love it. I do love the lining. Sometimes I see the lining and I think, oh, that would make a great bag. You know the print? Okay, and of course this one, reaching, does not have an inner pocket. So, and that happens. A lot of the park bags don't have that extra pocket on the inside. <sighs> Gotta get all that filling. They do fill their, their bags. They put a lot of, a lot of packing stuff in there, which is good, especially because it's gonna get shipped this one came in a box, but you know, I know that a lot of people have been talking about lately how they have been um, shipping them in plastic bags. Mine came in a box. So the cool thing about this is if you look the the side pocket, so the purple, it's not just purple. It's like an iridescent kind of purple. If you can get really close and see that. So it's nice. Um, and the same with the, the straps. They're kind of like a an iridescent glittery kind of purple. And it's very cute. I like that. Again, it has side pockets on the bottom. Love that solid color. Again, it's protective against, um, you know, the gunk. I'm going to take a sip. Talking a long time. Okay, so next. Next we have, this is box lunch. Everyone's going crazy over it. So normally I don't buy like anime bags. But remember, I got the Cordy's um, on Glow in the Dark bag. So I figured I would, because I do watch Sailor Moon. I do watch anime, so I figured, I mean, it's cool. So I got this one. It's the Sailor Moon bag. Because it's really pretty. Um, and pink is a solid color. I do wear a lot of pink. And I did love the, the um, hardware on this. Um, it's the, you know, her scepter. So it's really cute. Um, so if you look at it, it does not have like a whole lot you know, going on. It's not busy at all. So it's very elegant and you can wear with this with pretty much anything. If you look on the back, so it has the kitties and um, there's debossing. It's very classy, very, very classy. I love it. So this is a shimmery pink and it has gold hardware. See the moon? And uh, it has a flat pocket. And if you look closely, it says Sailor Moon and that's printed on. It has side pockets. And then let's look inside. And I know people are going nuts for this bag, like they went absolutely crazy. I had no problem. Well, actually, my husband got it for me because I didn't go. I couldn't. I was gonna cry if I went. He got it when he took my son. So he picked it up for me. And as you can see, it has the uh, Sailor Moon print. It is very pretty. Um, and this is a little bigger than your standard bags, and I like that too because my iPad's gonna fit in here, and that's a big thing for me because I take it everywhere, and it's like enormous. It's the 12.9 Pro. Love it, love it. It's my everything. I'm an Apple person. Um, and it has the zipper pocket on the inside. So again, fashion and function. But I do, I love this. Cause like I could wear this with like a really classy dress and no one would like look at me and think, oh my God, what the hell? She is wearing 
some weird anime bag. No, they're gonna say, oh, this is really pretty. I love that, where did you get it? It's couture. Like I could totally wear this and someone would think it's couture because it's classy and it's pretty. Might even pass for a coat. Very pretty. So I dig it. And then also from Box Lunch, is this thumper bag. So I ordered the one from Grotto Treasures and I'm really looking forward to that because Crystal from Grotto Treasures is one of my small shop buddies. Love, love, love her. And I can't wait to get hers. But the reason I got this one is because I'm a fur freak. I don't know why, I just I do, I love furry bags. So there it is. I mean, I'm not like terribly crazy about like the cutoff face, but I got it for the fur on the pocket. Um, and I do like the flowers, um, the ears, I don't know, we'll see. So I do like the flowers and the eyes are embroidered. Uh, and there's an applique behind um, that as well. And then the nose is applique on. So the, the thing about the fur right here, I do love it. Um, I'm gonna have to spray it of course, but if you lift this and that is a pocket. So, you know, I don't like these magnetic clasps because eventually they do get demagnetized and then all your stuff falls out. So I don't know if I'll actually wear this. Um, I do have the Bambi dress from Stitch Shop, so I might do it for a photo shoot, but um, I don't know if I'll wear it out in public, mainly because I can't actually use the pocket, which is kind of a thing, you know, fashion and function is like a big thing for me. It does have side pockets, it has silver hardware, and then on the back it has a cute little tail so the only thing is I worry that again, that this against my back is not going to be comfortable. I feel like this versus the other tails that hang down, this is going to hurt my back. Um, so it's gonna be very uncomfortable. So that is like a little concern for me. Um, the plaque is cream, which I do like because it's color contrast. It's on the side. Um, I don't understand why you see that it's flat here, but then there's, you know, like a lip the rest of the way around. I just, I don't know. So that's just the thing, I don't know. Uh, you know, I'm not a, fa a fan of these type of handles because it makes it difficult to hang. I mean, and honestly, I don't carry purses around like this either, so. So what is the purpose of this handle? Because you can't use it to hang and I, and I don't carry a bag like that. Ooh. But I do love the liner. So that is a beautiful liner. I do. That actually would make a nice all over print. Uh, and of course it does have a zipper pocket on the inside. So that is nice. So let's re-zip here. Moving on, moving on. Okay, now some Coraline bags. I can't leave them out, okay? I can't. Hmm. So for all my baseball fans, I know that some people are very mad at the Yankees right now, but you can't be mad at the bag, all right, because it's just amazing. I love it. So here is our Yankee bag. Mm, 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 mm. I know, right? Oh, it's love at first sight because let me tell you, um, this is embroidery. It's a patch, okay, and it's fabulous. I just love the way it feels. Look at the detail. And then, so the little NYs, these are all debossed. They're in white and they're debossed. And they just look fabulous, okay? So this is blue trim with silver hardware. And then we have a blue debossed and printed New York, all right? Then blue on the back. I do think that this white on the bottom was not a good choice, okay? Because now, what do we always say, guys? Okay, we're gonna wipe it down, we're gonna clean it, then we're gonna treat the bag because we want it to stay sparkly white. Sparkly. Okay? Because I love the bag. I absolutely love the bag. Now I just have to get a New York outfit to go with the bag, okay? Because, you know, this is a, a, a Yankees household. We are a Yankees household. Okay, not everyone in the, in the household is a Yankees fan. There's There are some Dodgers fans in the house, but um, during the game, we will not be speaking. 
during the game, we will not be speaking. So the tag is on the side, and uh, if you look closely, it, um, it's got the MLB uh, emblem, and then it says lounge play. And then, to top it off, the straps. Look at the straps. Now, what would have made it better is if this was, you know, debossed or if it was embroidered. But it's still beautiful. I'm loving it. Okay, so this is an amazing bag. So the next bag, the, oh wait, no, 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 lining, hello. I'm losing my mind today. So I have not had coffee. It's very early and I have not had coffee. Oh, yes, love the lining. Look tasty. It, oh, you know what? If they did a um, an all over print with that lining, hmm, fire. You need to get an extinguisher because that'd be fire. Okay, so this bag. I am not, I am not a fan of this team, okay? But I'm keeping this one because it's the cosplay and I love it. Have you ever felt silly that you kept something just because of the way it looks? So mind you, I can't wear it outside because I am not a fan of the team, but I do have a friend on the other side of the country who is a fan so when I go see her, then I will wear it because I'm visiting her. And I do love, like, the bag. It is just, it's amazing. And I will probably go to the game with her and then be like, it's just cute. Look at it. Oh, my God. So all my Red Sox fans, look at it. Like the green monster, he's just adorable. I saw it and I was like, OMG. It's awesome. So awesome. Look at him. He's so cute. So he's got an applique nose. And then of course the red socks is embroidered. And the MLB tag is on the front. He must have been special because it didn't get moved to the side. But it's just gorgeous. It's gorgeous. The rest is printed. This is a patch. It's just gorgeous. It's so cute. Look at him. He's so cute. He looks like he belongs on Sesame Street. I'm loving it. Just love it. Oh, you know what? They actually did such a good job with all of the, the baseball packs. They just came out so cute. So he's got a blue backing and on the back, of course, they have him doing his thing. Look at him. He looks so cute. And they actually put a blue bottom. Loving it. And now let's check out his lining. You like that accent? It's pretty cool, huh? I know. Again, it's a super, super, super. Love the lining. They did such a good job. I'm impressed. See, he's so cute. So, <clears throat> where is it? I gotta show you the Oogie Boogie bag and then we'll be done, okay? So these just came in. It's our first Halloween bag to come in. Now, I can't show you because I don't have a black light. It's not the 90s. You know, in the 90s, every club had a black light. Nowadays, the only time you got a black light is if you're check, <clears throat> checking for pee stains, right? <laughs> so, this is a super cute bag. <clears throat> See, look, it's got these uh, really cool dice as a zipper pull. And then... Um, and the cool thing is, like, you see these splatters, and you're like, why are the splatters? Okay, so this stuff glows in the black light. So when you turn the lights out and you get a black light, and I do have a, a black light flashlight somewhere, I'm sure. But it does. It glows. It's super, super cute. But look at this. This is the cool thing. So this wheel, it turns. So imagine if the lights were out and we had a black light. All of this would be glowing, and it would look super amazeballs, Okay. See, super cool. I love it. And look, all of our favorite Nightmare Before Christmas characters are behind the wheel. And this is a pocket. A pocket. And then if you look at the straps on the back, there's like a, a this cool chain in the purple on the straps. Let's look at the lining and see what it is. Oh, and the, the hardware is gunmetal. And that, you know that's my favorite. So the lining. Oh, look, it's the bugs. The creepy crawlies. And there is an internal zipper. 
So the only thing that I can see that I don't like is it doesn't have a side pocket, but I think I'll let it slip. So the bag is a little like wider than normal, but I don't mind because it's super cute. And you know what? I still have some in stock. So feel free to stop by our Shopify and check it out. So in our final note for the day, I just wanted to mention that I have another video. Well, there will be lots of videos this week because I have to catch up for you guys. But I'll be having another channel where I'm going to be talking about literacy because there's just not enough people reading today. So I don't know about you guys, but I love fantasy fiction. But for all my Disney people, my favorite author, Holly Black, actually wrote a whole series of Disney fantasy fiction. Uh, she wrote, let me pull it up here. Got milk. Sorry, your mother. It's the villain, the wickedest of them all set. And you can find that on Shop Disney or if you go to Barnes & Noble, which I, of course, have a Barnes & Noble card and I recommend that everybody get one because not only do you save on the books, but on the bags. Because, you know, Barnes & Noble has an exclusive coming out this year. But she also wrote this book. It's called The Darkest Part of the Forest. And there's a whole series and I have read them all and they are very good. Um, so if you want to check out my other videos coming soon where I talk about fantasy fiction, please do because reading is very important. So thanks guys for joining me for the videos. I hope you like the bags and stay tuned for the next one. You guys have a great day.